Expected to become operational by the 2030s, the H-20 represents a significant leap in China's military modernization efforts. Although claims from Beijing suggest the bomber's unveiling is imminent, analysts project a more measured timeline, reflecting the technical complexities involved in developing such advanced systems. The H-20 is designed as a cutting-edge platform intended to rival the most sophisticated bombers in the world, particularly those of the United States. Its flying wing design, reminiscent of the USB-2 Spirit, emphasizes stealth, with a reduced radar cross-section aimed at evading advanced air defense systems. Strategically, the H-20 is set to extend China's reach far beyond the second island chain, encompassing critical U.S. territories such as Guam, Hawaii and even parts of the continental United States. The bomber's development signals a shift in China's military doctrine, transitioning from regional to global power projection. Replacing the aging H-6 bomber family, the H-20 is expected to become the PLA Air Force's premier long-range strike platform. The dual role capability of carrying both nuclear and conventional payloads enhances its strategic value, serving as both a deterrent and an offensive asset. With an impressive range exceeding 10,000 kilometers, it will possess the ability to strike intercontinental targets, a capability further enhanced by potential aerial refueling. The bomber is expected to carry both nuclear and conventional munitions, including land attack and anti-ship missiles, making it versatile for a range of strategic and tactical missions. Comparisons to American counterparts, particularly the USB-2 Spirit, reveal both similarities and differences. The B-2, introduced in the late 1980s, set a benchmark for stealth technology with its flying wing design, low radar cross-section, and advanced avionics. The H-20 mirrors this concept but benefits from decades of technological advancement since the B-2's inception. By the time the H-20 becomes operational, it will likely face stiff competition from a mature fleet of B-21s and other advanced US platforms. The H-20 is not only a reflection of China's ambition but also part of the broader transformation of its defense aerospace industry. Over the past two decades, China has shifted from a technology importer to a leader in military aviation, rivaling the United States, Russia, and European powers. The state-owned Aviation Industry Corporation of China has spearheaded efforts to develop advanced platforms. Including the J-20 stealth fighter, the J-20's deployment in significant numbers underscores China's ability to produce and field advanced systems at scale. Currently, China operates the H-6 class of strategic bombers, a medium-range subsonic platform without stealth capability. The PLA Air Force requires long-range nuclear-capable warplanes to counter the tech dominance of the United States military. The H-20 would allow the PLA Air Force to conduct long-range conventional strikes on U.S. territories in the Pacific, including Guam and Hawaii, and reach as far as the mainland U.S. The H-20 would offer completely new and novel mission capabilities, essential for challenging a technologically advanced rival. Globally, China's defense aerospace advancements have outpaced traditional powers such as Russia, which has faced budgetary constraints and limited production capacity. While Russia continues to develop platforms like the Su-57 stealth fighter, its influence has waned compared to China's ability to innovate and field competitive systems at scale. Furthermore, China benefits from a rapidly advancing domestic technology sector, which provides critical innovations in artificial intelligence, materials science, and electronic warfare systems. The PLA Air Force is seeking to extend its power projection capability with the development of a new H-20 stealth strategic bomber. The PLA Air Force is developing new medium and long-range stealth bombers to strike regional and global targets. PLA Air Force leaders publicly announced the program in 2016. The H-20's development, alongside other advancements, symbolizes China's determination to reshape the global balance of air power. Ultimately, the H-20 and the broader modernization of China's defense aerospace industry. These advancements are not just technological achievements, but also key components of China's strategy to assert influence and deter adversaries on a global stage. As the H-20 program progresses, it will remain a focal point of military analysis and a symbol of China's growing aerospace capabilities. The H-20 would offer completely new and novel mission capabilities, essential for challenging a technologically advanced rival.
The US unveiled the B-21 two years ago, in December 2022. The aircraft made its first flight in less than a year, in November 2023. It has already entered low-rate production. It is expected to enter service in the mid-2020s. The B-21 is designed to deliver both conventional and nuclear munitions. The bombers will replace the US Air Force's B-1 Lancers and B-2 Spirit Bombers. In September 2024, the PLA Air Force announced that it would unveil some of its latest warplanes at the Zhuhai Air Show, triggering speculation that the H-20 bomber may finally break cover. Wang said the much-awaited H-20 will be unveiled very soon, assuring the journalists that there are no major technological bottlenecks in the development of the bomber. Wang told reporters in March 2024 that the aircraft's test flights will be closely followed by its manufacturing and commissioning, which will take place shortly after its official public debut. The H-20 bomber's range could be extended to cover the globe with aerial refueling. It is expected to employ conventional and nuclear weaponry and feature a stealthy design. China has remained invested in developing its next-generation bomber for about two decades. A few years later in January 2021, a clip from the PLA Air Force's recruitment video featured the flying wing design of the long-underdeveloped next-generation, long-range strategic stealth bomber. Other than that, the bomber has been kept under wraps. The H-20 is expected to be a game-changer for the PLA Air Force, allowing it to reach areas that have remained out of its reach so far. The Pentagon's China Military Power Report from 2018 and 2019 predicted that China's new H-20 long-range stealth bomber would have an operational range of 8,500 kilometers. The H-20 is expected to be a flying wing design with a payload capacity of around 10 tons. Analysts predict that the aircraft would feature serrated air intakes, cranked kite wings, and foldable twin-tail surfaces that can be switched between horizontal tail planes and V-tails. Above all, however, it will be the nation's first stealth bomber, unlike the US Air Force, which has been operating stealth nuclear bombers for decades. The Chinese military seems to be working on creating an aircraft that is hard to intercept and equipped with the technology required to get past the adversary's anti-aircraft defenses. The H-20 would offer completely new and novel mission capabilities, essential for challenging a technologically advanced rival. Analysts in the United States anticipate that the H-20 will also have an active electronically scanned array radar, which would be an advancement for the PLA Air Force.